What is up guys, it's K9. Today we're going to be discussing what's going on in the game of Injustice and what might show up in the future. Alright guys, so the first topic we're going to be talking about today is the Villains Gauntlet. Now if you guys don't know what the Villains Gauntlet is, well it's a couple of challenges which are going to go live after Amikami Catwoman's challenge ends, which is somewhere out today or tomorrow. But we will be seeing four characters in total in this Villains Gauntlet challenge, which are going to be coming up soon after Amikami's challenge ends. So the first character we're going to be looking at is Condog Black Adam, which is going to be lasting throughout the days July 22nd through July 25th. Then we have the character Antimatter Sinestro. So this character will be lasting July 25th through July 29th. Then we have the character Red Lantern Hell Jordan, July 29th through August 1st. And last but not least guys, Apocalypse Dark Side, August 1st through August 4th. So these challenges in total will be lasting two weeks. We won't be seeing the characters Teen Titans Raven and Earth 2 Solomon Grundy coming up anytime soon until these challenges end. But I'm going to be honest with you guys, I actually like the Willem's Gauntlet because it gives the players another a chance to promote the characters and obtain them if they have not yet. So the next thing we're going to be talking about is the online battles. MetaHuman Flash has been put up as the next multiplayer season reward for players to rank up 3% or higher. So good luck on that. The next thing we're going to be talking about is the in-game booster pack. So if you guys don't know the Iceberger pack, well it's your last chance to open the pack and this includes the characters such as Bane Luchador, Killer Frost, and Killer Frost Regime. But as soon as this pack goes away, hopefully we could see the Alien Invasion and the Sorcery pack after it. Either of that guys the most wanted pack in your stores is 25% off. So the next thing we're talking about is the in-game crashes. So this has been a big thing ever since the 2.10 update drop for many Android users. So in the general discussion of Injustice Mobile forums, they asked players to reply onto what devices they had a crashing issue with. So if you guys want, I'll have a link in the description below for you guys to help them out. But hopefully the devs can fix this in the next update. So the next topic is really exciting because two characters will be revealed tomorrow for Injustice 2 at the Comic Con in San Diego. And if you guys are wondering what this has to do with the mobile version, well if it's in the console version, we will most likely see it in the mobile version. But I'm going to be honest with you guys, on the left we have a female looking character, but on the right we have like a scorpion looking character, so that's my intake on that. I don't know who these characters will be tomorrow, but I will let you guys know. Either of that guys, let me know your thoughts and your guys' guesses in the comment section below. Last but not least guys, we have a tweet from Ed Boon responding to someone who says to reveal Martha for Injustice 2. Now Ed Boon responds with patience, her super move is not finished yet. So if you guys don't know who Ed Boon is, he's basically one of the creators of the game. To be honest with you guys, I think Ed Boon was joking around here. I'm not really sure, but let me know your thoughts because Martha is basically Batman's mom. Making her in the game is kind of weird because Bruce Wayne's parents are basically dead. But yeah, guys, that wraps it for today's video. Let me know your thoughts on any topics I talked about in this video. Either than that, guys, it is your boy K9 Unit, and I'm out. Love you guys. Peace.